great. Look at your beautiful hair. Thank you. I, well, I, sorry, I was just the show. Please, <laughs> not, not during the show, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was the microphone stand. It... Mm -hmm, that's what I would say. It, it only works for those who listen to us and don't watch <laughs> the show. I was adjusting the microphone and it squeaked. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> okay, I'm stumped. Uh, anyway, uh, do you want to introduce our podcast? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie, and that is author Lily Kay. Oh, <laughs> oh I get blush. You, you're not gonna well, well you're gonna see it because i i was in the belief that i don't have to turn the ring light on because it's really hot usually and we have a lot of light as you can see i am glowing sometimes well you know not yeah, you've now, moved now I, I moved now so i'm not glowing but i i was glowing before there was there was literal rays of light Just radiating from my shoulder i don't know uh but yeah it's not enough so you can see I'm blushing if I am blushing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just can't see it, that's all. <laughs> I can't either, so and and I don't know how you can make yourself blush, so maybe I should think about Chris Evans naked. But <laughs> Christ, we're only what, a minute into this? <laughs> Uh, naughty, naughty, naughty. It wasn't me. It was Katie's idea. But anyway. <laughs> I didn't drink before we started. Just water. I promise. It's, this is water. You're, you're in a very strange mood today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I am. I am. Because I started off the day freezing. Like, I was proper because I I am usually very fine with weather like you know it doesn't matter if it's cold it doesn't matter if it's warm I'm usually just okay but today I was freezing in the morning so I was basically sitting at this table drawing in a freaking hoodie and everything because I was like oh, I can't and then comes lunch time and suddenly I am so hot that I had to take off everything so I am now in my shorts because I am that hot at the moment. So I don't know what's going on. Strangely enough, it's now warmer today and this week than it has been the most of the summer. Oh. <laughs> it's about 24, 25 degrees today. That... So it's lovely out, but I'm, I'm very warm at the moment. Oh, I had to... Me too. The windows are open, but the, the curtain is closed, so I yeah. didn't get glare. It's just, I'm very warm. Mm, it is very warm. Well, I don't know. I don't What's like it. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I might be mute, I think. That's my other tone. Oh, good. You <laughs> never know at this day and age. <laughs> like, you know, why not? I, I would be the first mutant or something. But anyway, <laughs> what did you watch, Katie? <laughs> oh, what did oh. I watch this week? Right, let me think. Before we get into the actual point of the episode, which mm -hmm. you can see in the title, yes, obviously I watched that, and so did you, and yes. that's why we're here. Yes. But we're going to ignore that for a minute. Um, I watched. I'm trying to remember. Um, I watched the first five episodes of Nine Perfect Strangers because I found that on Amazon, and I was bored, and I thought, why not? And then I realised there's only five episodes out, and I still have to wait for another three. <laughs> I'm like, shit! I shouldn't have done this. I am not watching it just yet. I will wait until yes, it's all out. Move. It's it's very good. Um, I will good. say that there's like, yes, the, I find I'm finding that the plot of it. There's there's a kind of subplot to do with um, Nicole Kidman's character that I'm finding to be the least interesting part of the entire thing. <laughs> to be honest, it is yeah. like in the book as well. So I'm like. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like she's very interesting, and yeah. her interactions with everybody is very interesting. Yeah. But the guests are the most interesting part, and like how they're mm -hmm. reacting to everything. Yep. And I'm, I was from the first episode, like, oh, okay, everybody here's kind of a dig. And now by the fifth episode, I'm like, all right, they're actually quite sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's why I like the book because um, it was the kind of book that you get into really, but like for me at least, 
it was really hard to get into. Like, I just couldn't... I I, I didn't like any of the characters. It was... Mm. It, it annoyed me at parts, and I, I felt like it was way too slow, and I just couldn't understand why people love it. It was recommended by one of my friends. And then as I got into it deeper and deeper, I was like, yeah, this, yeah, it it's it's good. It, it really is good, so... <laughs> Yeah, mm. I'm glad to hear that the uh, uh, series is is doing the same. It's it's one of those things where you're looking at like this is just everything about this is so beautiful to look at mm-hmm. uh, as well, which is kind of the point. It's that whole sort of yes wellness thing that is wellness. so yes uh, intense. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I've got <laughs> a um no, I've got um spots on the side of my nose and it's itchy. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's never good. I always get spots there and it just gets a bit um yeah pore build up right around the edges of my nose mm. so <laughs> I had an itch yep fair, fair, fair. okay so nine perfect strangers I yes I did watch, I... To watch yes. it as well. uh obviously there was a new episode Ted Lasso this week so I watched that very important fair and I did a full tweet thread about how people don't seem to understand how television works <laughs> I saw that, but since I I am not watching you don't know it anything yet, about the thing. It's, like, yeah, it's yeah. fair. It's just <sighs> I've just there's been some weird weird discourse to do with this show. In that people are like, it's not as good as the first season because like at first it was complaints that it, there wasn't enough conflict, and now there's complaints that some of the characters are acting like dicks. And it's like, have you ever watched any TV show before? <laughs> it's like what. Just wait till the thing is over and then you can judge it. And even then, this is the second season. There's going to be more. I think, I don't actually, I assume that, I mean, it's doing so well. I would yeah, assume yeah. that it's, uh, it's going to get a third season. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's like, you, please understand and actually understand how story works. Like this is a character arc that uh, this person is going through. There's literally a point in the show from a couple of episodes ago where one of the characters goes, hey, we're in the dark forest right now. And when we get out to the other side, everything's going to work out. It may not work out in the way you want it to, but it's going to work out. And it's like, <laughs> people need to learn how to <laughs> enjoy a story. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's infuriating. I mean, the other weird discourse is the fact that people, there's a, there's a whole group of people who seem to think that Brett Goldstein, who's one of the writers, producers, and also stars in the show as Roy Kent, is actually made of CGI. It is the funniest thing. Like, there were genuinely people who were, went on Reddit were like, I don't think he's real. <laughs> and then he went on Twitter with this great video, um, which I will send to you because it's very funny, where he basically just goes, look, I'm a real person. I do all the real thing, normal person things like rendering and buffering. <laughs> <laughs> just like crying with laughter. It's so good. Yeah. But yeah. That's good. Obviously, new episode of Ted Lasso. And as part of our agreement, I started watching Kingdom. Did that this morning. I forgot that you mentioned that there were so few episodes. Because I was like, right, I'm settling in. And then I got to, I started episode four and I kind of was curious about some of the synopses for the next episodes. Just because yeah. it's like, I'm, I'm, I want to know things. And I'm being a little impatient. <laughs> um, and it was like, oh, there's only... There's six episodes. Oh, there's only twelve episodes in total. Yeah. So I probably will finish this. Not it won't, it won't take too long. No. It but don't forget to watch uh, uh, the movie the as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I just was I was settling in to watch like twelve episodes, like a oh. season. Oh, and yeah, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like no, 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 half that. And I go, half. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again i will say the same thing i kind of said to nine perfect strangers i'm finding not gonna lie the zombie aspect of it to be the least interesting part it's yeah it's fair point (laughs) but like yeah zombies but like political drama (laughs) and it is so well mixed together i i'm like yeah Mm -hmm. it was like when when i got i watched episode three just Mm -hmm. before we started this and i was like Okay, so we're doing zombie stuff now. But like, when are we going to get back to... <laughs> There's like political drama stuff that I kind of want to get into. But it's always there. It's, it's yeah. you know, they like... These idiots don't even care about the zombie thing. They are just like... <laughs> Money, power. <laughs> power. <laughs> and I'm like, are you guys crazy? Or what's wrong with you? 
Yes. <laughs> they, they're going to eat your face and you're thinking about power? You idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But I just, I'm so happy you're watching it and I can't wait to talk about it. And I'm going to start watching The Leftovers tonight because life got into the way of my plans of starting it on one day and then every other day, basically. So tonight is the night. Yeah. Give it a chance. I promise it's good. And it gets better as it goes on. Well, so. we did agree to watch, you know, the show. So I'm, I'm going to watch it. Don't worry. I will hold on. And I'm sure I will be hooked. Because so far, everything... I just realized it, that everything you recommended, I liked. So... It's because I have really good taste. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm just going to put it out <laughs> Uh, what, did you watch anything else this week? I don't. You did don't. I watch anything else? Yes, you did. Did I? Yes. What did I watch? Uh, you finished Truth Be Told, the first season. Oh, I did. And I we did didn't finish. talk about it here. Um, here. Yes. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like, I, I think what I said to you was that I found the murder like mystery part of it, where she's like investigating all of this like true crime stuff, obviously was less interesting again this is like the main plot of these stories is clearly not as interesting to me as like the character dynamics is going on like her family is way more interesting mm -hmm. than like anything that kind of went on i mean obviously aaron paul did a great job because he's great he's great. and, he's, and, and honestly well. i actually feel like if they'd invested more in seeing him in the story i would have been more interested in what was going on that was with my that sort of problem. stuff i have to agree though i needed more like, aaron paul I think because he he's so like got such a good screen presence and, mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff that it was like that was the interesting stuff for him and her kind of having this drama with her family and her husband who okay I've watched the first episode of the second season mm -hmm. I haven't watched any more from that because um I think but yeah because you know they, they're they, it's only just started so I might just wait yeah. at this point yeah um I like her husband <laughs> more than I liked Marcus <laughs> Interesting. Okay. and it's like the show is clearly setting up this thing of like this guy's clearly better soon it's like no <laughs> her husband's a good guy she kind of fucked him over a lot in this season to be honest yeah <laughs> and she, she she keeps doing that just gonna put it that way yeah she has her flaws Yes. Mm, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's Octavia Spencer, and she's very good. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. I just love Octavia so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, I, I did find every time because there's like an inherent drama in this. Like, there's like this journalist, and she's and she's you know investigating this thing that she knows that she was kind of the reason that this person ended up in prison, and like, ah, oh, this is the truth. The fact is, every time they were like, "I'm going to get you on the podcast," I just kind of went. <laughs> <laughs> You just can't. There's nothing serious about it, right? It's like I know we do a podcast, but like it's not. It's like it's not life or death, right? It's yeah. It's never has been, and it's like every time they acted like this podcast was the most important thing in the world, I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is Katie. I don't know what your problem is. Like, come on. <laughs> Just like, like I have to get her on the podcast. I'm doing another episode tonight, and it's like, okay, babe. <laughs> well, they needed something. Extra. Yeah, I know. I just, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I felt like it took the drama out of things just a smidge. <laughs> fair, fair. I like the the way that they used like the her recording the podcast of having her like sit down and have do these like, um, uh, what's the word? voiceover bits where mm -hmm. she's like discussing the bits of the case and everything that was a very nice narrative thing and it, it made yeah. for something very cinematic and she's got such a lovely voice so it's mm -hmm. nice to listen to but it was a bit yeah just every time I record the podcast tonight it's very important I'm going to risk my husband's career <laughs> she was kind of a dick I'm just saying she was she crossed was. a lot of boundaries I mean she, she did she did I I, I think uh, I really like the, uh, the the whole first season. I haven't even touched the second one because I will just wait till it all comes yeah. out. Uh, but uh, I think my 
only problem with it was that I wish they would have put more balance into her part of the story and mm. Aaron Paul's part of the story because it was it was a bit like off, like yeah and there was they have all of the stuff to do with like obviously within prison in the narrative and I'm gonna go into a couple of details and stuff mm-hmm. so if people want to watch it feel free it's on Apple TV the whole first season is there they're currently airing the second season but I'm gonna do some spoilers now um they oh what was I gonna say what were you saying before so I can remember my train of thought that I was going to say something. needed to balance the, the two stories like her. yes that's right yeah. they his character um joins the sort of you know racist white people within prison in order to protect himself uh, because he went in as a 17 year old and all that sort yeah, of stuff yeah, yeah. so he's covered in like Nazi paraphernalia and they go a lot into like he's Aryan Brotherhood and um, why are you helping this white boy who's like clearly racist and, yeah. and all this stuff and I felt like there was way more there was like almost a surface level mm-hmm. story going on there yeah. and they could have gone way deeper with it mm-hmm. and made for a or just like not done it at all yeah. right Yeah. because it didn't feel like it had that much mm-hmm. bearing in the end on that part of the narrative I, I kind of hope that they would like you know focus on that one as well like there were so many interesting things about um, you know his story and you know it's all his story basically because the investigation is for him but like Aaron Paul is just so good and I feel like that he just needed more like screen time mm. as well in, in the whole series like uh, I really like the relationship that they started to build yeah. between them and then and it mm-hmm. And plus, it, it, the thing is, it, like, they build it up within the first couple of episodes. Like, you find he, you, you go in, you find out that he's like supposedly, um, or they say A B in the show, mm. um, and but then it's kind of like, oh, he's doing this to protect himself, and then they don't go any further into that. They don't have him like struggling. Like, they have a, like the most like surface level way of him struggling with that, where like by the end of the season, he again spoilers. Uh, he covers up all of those tattoos and then tries to go and get help from sort of the black people within the prison. And then they're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where were they? But yep. it's like, yeah, well, this guy is not actually a supremacist mm. in belief. He's just doing, he was, he entered a place because he was, and the, also they, I, I'm going to do a small trigger warning here as well, because there's some heavier stuff that I'm going to go into. Um, uh, there's like you find out very late on that the guy who runs the Brotherhood was also very abusive and like yeah. was raping people, mm. um, uh, and it's like it's such a minuscule moment, mm-hmm. and it doesn't really have end up having any real consequence on anything. No, and it's just sort of like there's something you 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 had you had a lot of stuff here and you didn't quite dig into it as much as maybe you could have mm. which was a bit of a shame but yeah, you know, yeah. Still, it's still like it, it, it's one of those shows where I'm like yeah it's good entertainment it's, it's decently made it's got mm-hmm. a great cast very yeah. watchable um it's just there's a couple of things that are holding it back from being like yeah excellent television you know yeah yeah, yeah. I agree I agree mm. I, I still like it but like yeah just a so bit, did I. bit just a bit more just a yeah. bit more and then it would have been freaking excellent. Mm. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I only watched you... one thing other yeah. than the thing that we may yeah. talk about. And it was Don't Breathe 2. Uh, All right. And uh, I will agree that it is an unnecessary sequel, sequel uh, especially because it it doesn't even join to the first one like at all. It's like... Right. So it's it's sort of it's like it's just theme as opposed to yeah it's like just Stephen Lang is back and that's it I you know but no mention of the previous well mention there's kind of mention of the previous story but like it's disjointed from it so I'm like yeah uh, but um, I did enjoy it like I I I still think that if it was something like a completely different. Um, 
road that they wanted to take with it. Like if this would have been the only movie that they made about this guy, then it works. Like, you know, it's entertaining. You don't need to know about the first one. You don't even have to watch the first one. It's great. Uh, but because it's called Don't Breathe 2, I was kind of expecting like at least some kind of reaction like you know but uh yeah it was very violent as the first one was like <laughs> very very violent <laughs> stuff and uh, i like that they made him uh because Stephen lang is playing a blind man who's who was like an army vet and everything and and he's just a freaking psycho killer basically in the first one and he 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 does some <clears throat> very horrible things <laughs> Uh, which I'm just not going to say what he does. If if you want to know, just, you know, go into it. But it's it's like, it's not okay at all. And basically, there's only the girl who survives the first encounter. And um, she finds out in the end that he is still alive. So she didn't manage to kill him. Uh, and that's how the first movie ended. So I was kind yeah. of expecting her coming back. Or right. at least have and a mention not... of her, and she's just not. And okay. uh, it's it, it turns out that it, it the whole thing plays like several years after uh, the first one, uh, and uh, basically he, well, stole a kid. Which you know I I am only willing to say it because it is in the trailer, so they already like spoiled it. And obviously, if you've seen the first one, you know that that kid is not his kid. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he trains her and you know he he tries to teach her uh how to survive and uh, he keeps her secluded from others and whatnot because he just you know he's just this maniac who wants to have a kid because he lost his own kid uh that's the main part in the first story um and then it just goes a bit weird like once again, it has a very questionable plot in there. Like, you're just, oh, Jesus Christ, you guys are just going in. <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, and then uh, they do what they promise that they're not going to do because Stephen Lang's character in the first one is a villain. Is like, he's horrible and you're, you're like, yeah, please, someone just kill this fucking idiot. And then in here, he, he gets a hero arc, basically. He gets redemption. And I'm like... I'm not sure if I'm okay with it. Like, mm. you know. Hmm. It was interesting. It's I'm I'm still I'm still not sure <laughs> if 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 I am okay with it. Um so yeah, but uh, it was still you know, it it did what the first one did on the part of action and violence and creepiness and everything. But I'm I'm not sure if, if the direction they took was was the right one to say it like mm. this. I kinda wish that they would have uh had him go after the girl to get revenge or something but like it wasn't needed this this second part was just simply not needed <laughs> yeah i think you can say that about a lot of no. attempted sequels nowadays yeah just but like it, just it, leave it alone yeah just don't touch it just Maybe. let it be a thing on its own yeah Oh well, I mean, it, it was we were kind of expecting it because the first one ended the way it did, and you were like, "Ah, oh, I'm sure there's going to be a second one," and there it is. But like, but no, not in the way it, it's not. <laughs> it's like there's no connection here, so I'm like, uh, "Is it really a second part?" Because I don't think so. But okay, uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Uh, let's talk about why we are really here today. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we go into this, yes. this is a spoiler review. We are going to be talking about spoilers. Uh, As always. Really. We are actively yeah. talking about the entire movie, all plot points. So if you haven't seen the film, you should go to the cinema and watch it because like, this, this film deserves to do well. So you should, and it, you know, if it's safe to do so, and obviously if you're feeling well and all that sort of, all that jazz. But it's, it's, it's a worth the watch to start off with if you want to get the non-spoilery bits out of the way. It's very good. It is excellent. It's very good. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Um, do you want to start or, or should I go first? Uh, you go first. I should also point out, I know it's in the title, but we're talking about Shang-Chi and the Legend of yes. the Gen Ten Rings because I haven't actually, we haven't said it properly we yet. Have, we haven't said it. That's true. That's true. Um, we, we, yeah, we're talking about Shang-Chi, which came out um, 
uh, for us a couple of days ago. Yes. So it came out on the 3rd uh, and it is you know, now available in cinemas. So they're not putting it on Disney Plus this time. So if you want to see it, you're going to have to go to the cinema. Yeah. And you and should do that. <laughs> I am very proud to see because um, I don't know who, I think it was Aquafina who shared it, that uh, it's uh, already... It's doing well. Like 85 million on just, yeah. on just Friday, I believe. So I'm like... Well done. I'm I'm proud. I'm proud <laughs> because obviously it is connected to the whole Marvel storyline yeah. heavily. Yeah. And I'm gonna start doing the spoiler stuff here and say I like that it's not Yes. Um I think that some of the other Marvel, some of when they do, you know, origin stories, they they get very caught up in like, how do we make sure that it is incredibly connected to the rest of the MCU? And I like that this film kind of exists. I mean, yes, yes, it exists in the in, within the MCU, yeah, but it does sort of exist outside of it as well. Yeah, like it is a very easily a standalone story that happens to just be a very good action sort of, you know, martial mm. arts film. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all about family and 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 grief and I, mm. I i like i do love a film that actually kind of has it, it it's this is the, yes there is a hero's journey within it for our, our our eponymous hero but also it there is way more built into the sort of subtext within the themes of the film mm. i know i said i was going to let you go first but i'm apparently taking over now i can't tell but it's <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, but um, yeah, I like it, it, this. This is a yeah. It, it very much feels like a sort of standalone. Just a. It just feels mm. like a movie, you know, about a guy who lost his mother and his father went a bit crazy because of it. Just a tiny bit of <laughs> But now you should go. I want to <laughs> hear what you think. <laughs> well, I did. I did write you that uh, uh, he is easily easily have the same love for me as Steve Rogers does which is like the highest praise I, I can give up because if you know me and if you listen to this podcast Katie knows this very well like, I think we can tell by the comment you made at the very beginning of the episode I'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> yes <But> I'm like <laughs> I'm like <clears throat> I I really like this guy and and the whole story all together is just like I I could tell not only from the trailers but you know obviously uh, the cast went around and and already did many interviews and I'm sure they're gonna do many more um and uh, I am just hoping I'm, I I listened to Aquafina saying his name because I was like I am a hundred percent sure I'm saying it wrong so Simu Lu yeah there you go I nailed him. I'm so proud of myself. We always have name troubles here. If you're a first time listener, <laughs> yeah, you're very bad with names. Yeah. And he's just great. I love his humor. I, you know, I love his whole approach. Like he's, he's basically what I imagine myself would be at at a movie set like this. Like if I would get a chance, like like this to 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 I see. you, I, I would be the same. I would be just hyping it up like. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> like, I I don't think he fully uh, like processed that he's the new Marvel hero. <laughs> I think he's like he's still just that. Uh, you know, he says it himself that uh, he's a he's a Marvel fanboy. Like, and and this is like a dream come true, and and it shows. And I love that. Like, you know, when when if, when someone uh, gets a chance like this, and and. He actually or she actually happens to be such a big fan uh, of the thing that they are doing. It's it it shows, and I love that. Like like I think that's very very important, uh, and I think it showed throughout the whole movie. Like he just, I think he just loved every minute of filming, and uh, I will start with saying that I need shang and katie to be okay forever like i i'm i'm not willing to use another bucky steve <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. i'm like i'm not <laughs> i need i need them to be safe and 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 always i like i freaking adore the parts like on the bus 
the the famous fight scene that we get to see in the trailer as well is like freaking amazing and it um, happens way quicker than you think it's going to as it, well it does yeah yeah i was surprised i was like oh oh we're here oh okay okay i'm, I'm on board mm. i like that and i like that he only starts to fight because they hit katie and i'm like look at him he's, he's protecting her <laughs> <laughs> They are such good friends, and I love it. I'm like, ah, um, and then and then it happens again uh, when you know uh, the second big fight comes into the movie, and it, and it, and Katie is in big trouble, and he's like, oh my god, and he's just running through everything. Although that scene freaked me out. Like, I don't have a problem with height and uh, height and everything, but mm. I I had in this movie, I was like, huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's just a big no for me, uh, and and then and then I just you know, they are just adorable, and I I loved it so much. I was like, ah, <laughs> I'm I'm uh, uh, what is it? Uh, what's that word I hate? I I simping. I simp for them. <laughs> I I have a sim for them. Although I was I will say this that I I felt the same disappointment I felt as an. I guess eleven or ten year old kids when I watched Mulan and in the end Shang and Mulan didn't kiss and I was like ah! No, this is this is, I was what I was gonna say. I like the fact that they're just platonic. I don't need any more romantic I think the fact that they're just good friends within the context of the of the of their narrative is great. Just let them be best friends. I'm into that. I, I wanted I wanted them to be like more than friends i'm not gonna lie but i am okay with oh. them being friends as well yeah, it, but they're so good as just friends it's like yeah these two have known each other for 10 years they're really good friends it doesn't need to be anything else well we'll see in the future <laughs> get him a nice like some other nice lady to be his girl it doesn't need to be her their relationship can be as important as some other relationship that he might have later on i don't agree <laughs> But anyway, uh, I did like the entire movie as it is. Like mm. I, at at the moment, I cannot think of anything that I would have done differently. Mm. I loved, like, I literally went like, ah! when uh, Wong showed up from, you know, Doctor that Strange. I was like, it was just funny. <laughs> I think it is the only thing that feels a bit out of place. I will say in in the film is him being. I mean, maybe it's just because I don't have it because I still haven't seen Doctor Strange. Again, again, again. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the only one I haven't. Well, it's not true. I've not seen Black Widow either, but that was I missed that one. Um, really. Um, I'll get to that one. It's like free on Disney Plus. It'll be fine. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, I. It was kind of like he just he he's just there at the you know at her my beloved Charlene, who I just am so. This is why I'm I'm sorry, Simu, because obviously you're great, and that's what I said immediately when I did um, my little tweet review mm, mm. he's got just incredible charisma and like mm -hmm. such good leading man energy and i can't wait for him to bring that sort of stuff into the rest of like the the wider sort of mcu yes. stuff yes he can be the leader i'd be into that i think uh -huh. he has the potential yep, uh yep. and and the the you know drive to be able mm -hmm. to do that so he should um but uh, fucking Charlene, my beloved she's so good she was great i just i love her so much comes in beats the shit out of him yes <laughs> excellent <laughs> the post credits the post post credit sequence the one yes. at, at the end of the yes, credits yes. when when it's just like oh yeah she's just fully taken over her dad's compound brought in a bunch of women to treat turn them out of fight it's now hers she put a bunch of graffiti up all over the place i'm like yes mm -hmm. absolute girl boss yep i love it yep 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 she she was great she was great but but i i honestly loved everyone like the yeah. casting was freaking perfect i oh I... man it, I, i'm and i'm i don't know how specific the the phonemes work in in um, mandarin so is it tony long mm -hmm. i mean obviously he's the kind of uh, i think i believe he's like a legend in, he's a in, legend yeah, yeah. yeah he's... <laughs> uh, but this is his first hollywood movie and it's just like oh fuck he's good yeah. i really liked him throughout the entire thing and it's great. like Yes, he's technically the antagonist, but he never feels like an actual. He never villain. feels like a bad guy. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't feel like a, a villain. He's he's just a man, consumed by grief. Yeah, and um, who completely fucked up his kids. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really liked his story arc. Like, you know, it wasn't just a straight line. It was... Mm. I the the whole opening sequence. First of all, first like ten minutes of the movie is entirely entirely in uh Chinese. Chinese, yeah. Um, which is great for a Marvel film. It's like, mm. yeah, fuck it. Excellent, yeah. I'm gonna force it's like, yes, this is a Hollywood movie, but I'm going to force you to read subtitles for the next ten minutes. Get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just the whole sequence of them fighting mm. in um uh Talao. Yeah. Um uh, where they have that like those like sweeping slow motion shots, and he's like smirking up at her, like, "Oh, this is like, this is like a courtship that's going on right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> this is a seduction, <laughs> and it's very good. It 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 was gorgeous. It was good, and I I have to uh, pat them on the shoulder very heavily because I love Chinese folklore and I love Chinese folklore movies as well, mm. uh, and they did an excellent job. Like. With all the five things, but especially with the opening, I was like, "It's so gorgeous." It's just, yes, <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing. It's beautiful to look at. It is, it is so colorful mm-hmm. um, and filled with like. And I've been seeing a lot of, and I think the most important thing when it comes out of it is that I'm been seeing a lot of people who, you know, are Chinese who have gone to see the movie and mm-hmm. are like, "I've never felt so represented in my life." And it's yeah. like, yes, that's yep. what we want. <laughs> It's yep. very good. It is very good. more like this. It is very good. It's like <sighs> perfect. I loved. I loved all the subtle, you know, uh, uh, little things in there. Like you could uh, at the fighting arena. Uh, I don't remember how they called it. Was it? I don't remember. How they called I don't remember what it was called. No. Um, mm. ah. But like the the have the... have sort of. Empire, Empire that she had built yeah. basically yeah 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 uh you could see a black widow there fighting and and you could see the um glowy fire guys from iron man 3 <laughs> and i was like oh, i don't think just... i i won't like i don't think i was there was at least for the first part of the movie yeah. i was getting a little bit distracted because there was a kid who was sitting very close by to me who wouldn't shut up Oof. um I which mean, wasn't so me. bad I was sitting next to his mother. I wasn't going to fight him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, it wasn't so bad because he was talking. Uh, he wasn't talking so that you could hear him that well over the movie, but I could hear him talking. It was like he talked loudly in the loud moments, but he wasn't talking louder than the movie. If you know what I mean? Mm. So it was just noise, but it was very annoying. And it wasn't until like the latter half of the film that his mom started going, shh, because she was like actively talking to him in the first part. I was like, just stop talking. <laughs> just shh. I would have touched him. I don't care about the mom. I would have been in like, shut up. <clears throat> I'm very aggressive he... in the cinema. I'm sorry. It, I got the impression <laughs> that he might have been a kid with like um, uh, learning disabilities. And, uh, uh, and I, it, they, I don't know. Obviously, you can't know these things, but I was just sort of like, I, yeah. I had the, there was, a, he, he's, yeah. yeah. No. I don't think he quite understood. But it's also like, how did you bring him into, I was in the lounge, which is oh, the yeah, area yeah. with all the fancy seats. Yes. yes like, why did you bring him in here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. No, I, I wouldn't. Okay. I, I can't. I can't. I can't deal with people like that. For us, it was, it was very surprising because it was quiet. And mm. as I told you, back here, it's like there's always some kind of problem. So I, I became very. <clears throat> I am very mean, <laughs> in the cinema. Like if you talk behind me, you. You have two options. You either shut up or I will make you leave. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, uh, I I am friends uh, with the owner of the cinema. I am friends with everyone in there. So I'm like, I just have to send out a text like, look, the kid is talking behind me. Please take him out or just tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I'm, I am not in the cinema to listen to you. Mm. I don't care. And you're not here to uh, disturb others' entertainment. So I'm like, you know, if obviously if it's like um, a comedy or something and you laugh on it, I don't give a shit. I will laugh as well. But don't talk loudly. No one cares. You're not at home. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's yeah. my message. Like, no. <laughs> uh, but this time it was like, it was, everyone was, I think everyone was so in it. And it was actually a beautiful experience that it was it was quiet and it was nice. I, I, I actually ended up being the loudest one. <laughs> because I, I just couldn't contain myself. Like, I love Aquafina so much that I left everything she said. I was like, I can't. Yeah. 
there, there, <laughs> it was like I can't I, I wish I could remember some of the more specific bits because but there were like there were some good lines in there that oh really God, made yes. me go like proper like <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> I may have to watch it again to remember them properly, mm, but I... it's it's like it's just really small. It, it's like it it is exactly that kind of humor that will definitely get a chuckle, like just mm-hmm. like a <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh it's God, it's yeah. it's especially the sort of thing like when they're on the plane and he's explaining oh, his God. entire traumatic part, and then and she comes over like, hey, hey. so. Uh... <laughs> Which like, like um, chicken sandwich or I think they were talking about it's the veg- it's, it's, it's like you can have the vegetarian or the beef and it's like okay we'll, we'll, we'll have the vegetarian we don't have any vegetarian though. would you like the beef <laughs> yeah we'll have the beef you too <laughs> yeah <laughs> so cool so cool. oh my god I I love those moments I love we can't we can't go any further without saying that the, when they go to do karaoke I died. I was like, <laughs> it's just perfect. The karaoke, the, the karaoke at the beginning where you're like, this is very good. And then it's the karaoke at the end after they, they find one. Or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is great. And I died. I just lost it there. I was like, yeah, okay. That, that, that scene made Wong's like sort of appearance earlier in the film just like worth it for me. Because it was, the, like I said, it was the only thing that kind of popped up. I was like, this feels like your your attempt to kind of tie it to the rest of the movie um in a way because it was like he didn't really have any bearing on the plot is what i mean you know i i will i will say this think of wong as the new phil colson ah okay I, I, because because that's how i will look at him from now on because i i think they're gonna do the same uh yeah it's it, but like it's that thing of like he like, yeah he just sort of it was there and then he left and it didn't really have that much bearing on the plot until until you get to that first post credit scene where it's like oh he's got like, like he, there is a purpose for him being here mm-hmm. in this part yes. um speaking of the first post credit scene we got a lovely little look at um mark ruffalo back as bruce yes. banner i didn't think he was um still doing this oh my god i thought he was done like yep. along with pretty much everybody else but no he's, he's still there and he's looking like he's himself again <laughs> yeah i mean he's he's gonna be in she hulk as well yeah that's true so yeah um, he didn't like leave we, mm. we we like mark ruffalo in this house so happy just, um i don't know anything like, i've been mentioned this many times i don't know anything about any of the law from like marvel comets and stuff mm. is the implication at the end of this first was that a tie-in to the eternals or is that for some larger thing that we don't know anything about yet that's I, my question i think my theory because i was thinking about it as well uh, because it sends off a signal, yes, uh, basically. Uh, and my theory is that it's gonna be Kang coming in, like you know, Jonathan Majors uh, character. Okay. So I think it's gonna be connected to that. It's either that or it's 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 uh, gonna be something with the Eternals. Like I, think I that's felt the two like it was. I felt like it was something to do. Like that was the the impression I got was like because before the movie started, we got a trailer for the Eternals because obviously, yes, um, you want to have a bunch of stuff to do with um Mm -hmm. uh you know the the movie the kind of in the vibe that you're watching it's the thing of like getting a dvd and being like here's if you like this movie which you have bought here's all the things that you might be interested in so we got one for james bond Mm -hmm. we got from dune and we have one for the eternals and it's that thing of like she mentions in the trailer it's like ah the convergence is happening there's things that are coming Mm -hmm. and i was like okay this feels like it makes the most sense but i don't know anything about any of this stuff to say for sure and I also don't care enough to, <laughs> <laughs> or like actually, that's that's not true. I don't want to look it up because I would like to just, just find to... it out as it yeah, comes. find it yeah. out as it comes. I'm I'm not. Um, I mean, that's trying fair. to um, like dig into fan theories. I think yeah. we all know that that went you know poorly for the folks uh, for the folks yeah, yeah, who yeah, yeah. went a bit nuts about um one division. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's um, true. That's true. Uh, but no, I I think there's two options. Or there might be a third one, but but in my head, there's two options. It's either going to be the Eternals uh, or a connection there. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up in a poster that's in there or something like that. Mm. Uh, or or it's it's going to be the the big evil of of this phase or, or the upcoming phases. Let's let's put it like that. We don't know for sure about who actually is 
or like the extent of what the big evil of this phase or like the, the coming thing we know that Kang the Conqueror is going to be an important part of it but we don't because the implication was that those rings were sending off something to something alien and he wasn't alien he That's was just true. a very smart guy who broke the universe yeah. <laughs> and all the other <laughs> universes involved with that that's true. Um, that's true. So it's kind of like uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't we'll know. Really. We're, we're I, too early on. We're too early on. I did d- d- do a search on it, like what are the theories, but mm. then I just gave up halfway through. I was like, nah, I I don't think I care that much. So I'm like, mm. uh, I it was lovely to su- see not just Mark Ruffalo, uh, but Brie Larson. Brie Larson as well, well, obviously. Yeah, with the long hair. <laughs> the long hair is back. I. I <laughs> he I, has my number. She does this all the time. I don't have her I number. I don't have her number. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even have a number, I think. Like, it's like she's in space. Why yeah, would she have why a number? Why would she have a number? Like, that's just weird. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I see a lot of uh, comments that they missed the original six. And I do agree. Like, I, I do miss them. But I think they are doing a fucking amazing job with the newbies. I already I like... feel like just especially after this film quite excited to see yes. how they build out this story yeah, yeah, again because yeah. it does feel like the beginning of something new yep right this is the very this is the first movie that's actually kind of phase four mm-hmm. um like it's like we are starting a new story it's going to take some time and they and I like the fact that you feel like it's going to take a minute for them to build this out properly like like they did last time they took their time with it last time and they think they're going to take their time with it this time as well yep. just kind of pepper things in mm. see what comes out of it yep. that sort of thing yep. um yeah it's a. Uh, they have the great advantage now that uh even the tv shows matter because mm. they do like we cannot say anything else but they do matter like uh wonder vision like wonder spat is like it can it can go either way. I'm still saying that like Wanda can become evil. I'm just putting it out there because you know the Scarlet Witch isn't really a nice one in the comics <laughs> all the time. <laughs> like mm-hmm. mm. there are questionable things mm. there, so you know she can still become evil. She yeah. can be the evil in uh, the next Doctor Strange. Uh, we don't know anything about that yet, but at this point, who knows. Uh, it will be uh, what uh, the other conversation that's very interesting, and I will just briefly mention it is uh, the Doctor Strange debate uh, in the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Yes, uh, many people think that that is not the real Doctor Strange. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of that sort of like it's not really him. Yeah. Um, which again, I don't have any context for Doctor Strange really because I've only seen snippets of him because I haven't watched his movie. <laughs> um, but uh, it is very odd that he just sort of decides fuck it that and that the, the little things like the one that really caught my attention as well in the trailer is that he doesn't have the gloves on and he he always has them on because of the surgery marks on on his hands and it's it's not there and i'm like interesting that's like very weird and and he still has um uh, the eye of agamotto in in his neck, the one that held um, the time stone. Time stone, thank you. Uh, so why is it still there? Surely he should. Mm, no, that's true. That they 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 they're gone now. Mm-hmm. I forgot that that's how the time. That, that's how that works. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, so like... I honestly I do like the idea that like Mysterio didn't die. <laughs> I I I'm not gonna lie. I I support that one as well. Mm. I I think he's either still alive or. It's the multiverse. That can be an, like, I know it sounds bad, but that can be an actual Mysterio, like the one we know from the comics where he has magic powers and, you know, it's not just all a trick. Uh, So I I am not against that. uh, There are some people who believe that uh, this Doctor Strange is actually Loki. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. Fun idea, but I don't think they're going to do that. (laughs) I mean, looking at the events in in Loki, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm like, that's actually not a bad path to think about. Like, maybe it is Loki. Like, uh, 
he could know no. magic and things like that. So yeah, but I don't think that makes sense with where his character is at at the end of the season. He like the well, whole point I... is that he feels like they made a mistake in in yeah. So why would he then break it more? Yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. It's gonna be interesting to see. Or maybe this is just Marvel again misleading us, and it is Doctor Strange. And well, yeah, <laughs> I, the, the, honestly, the likelihood is again, it's the thing of like the most simple answer is probably the right one. It's probably Doctor Strange. It is probably <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, but I just I do like the idea that it might be Mysterio. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Alas. Yeah. Same. Um, same. Let's go back but, to our, our boy. Yes, I know that was what I was going to say. Um, switching gears yes. um, back to the, the film. And I want to say that we we have discussed many times my love for Iron Man 3 because that is a great film uh, that does not get the credit it deserves uh, by some people. But I think that they... Just the fact that they decided to bring back Trevor was such a genius idea. <laughs> I love that. He's so... so much so goddamn funny they kind of elevated his role within iron man 3 by doing this as well Mm -hmm. um because they like at this on the one hand they obviously made fun of the whole fact that he like took on the name and was like playing a part and then they followed it up with like oh we got he's serious and he's as just as strange as he usually is i love the, the idea that he was brought in because they were like i can't you know you have, you know, sundered my, you've used my name and all this yeah. stuff. And then he just started performing and they went, this guy's kind of funny. Yeah, let's, let's keep him. <laughs> just keep him. <laughs> I like that one as well. I was like, yeah. Just it's like, this. I started doing, what was it? He, he, he did one of the, he, he did, I think it was, it was his Macbeth, I think. Yeah, he said yeah, it was yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. It and it was his, and they were like, this guy's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep him. Yeah, just keep him. Yeah. And tra- it works. Like, I love Trevor throughout tra- this movie. I was like, yes. Yes. And I'm going to say this now. I need my own Morris. Morris is very cute for Morris. a thing that doesn't have a face. <laughs> Morris is the best. I loved I loved how he communicated with Morris. Mm-hmm. I was like, so Trevor just learned spent so much time around and he figured out how to do, like communicate <laughs> yeah. with him yeah it's like it's like the star wars magic where they can yeah. understand the droids and you just don't question it they do done okay so trevor understands i boys. got like genuinely <laughs> i think the moment i actually got like the most like oh, no was when he's like lying there on the floor like, like dead and morris goes over to him I'm like no they can't have killed trevor and he goes it's a performance and it's like this no, just leave that i'm down. crying <laughs> so funny <laughs> I w- get with the program Slump. <laughs> yeah I, I was so afraid at that part i was like if they kill trevor i, I will i bear my own you can kill trevor trevor is great <laughs> i was just like i'm no i'm not ready for this we only just got him back <laughs> you can't do this um also i was i was very afraid at the end because i i had this feeling that they they're gonna do something with with uh, Katie. I was like, they did do something with Katie. They gave her a bow and arrow and made her kind of a badass. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, but I mean, like you know, that was the good part. Yeah, obviously. I know what you mean. <laughs> but uh, uh, when and and especially uh, when the master told her to to stay behind because she's not ready, I was like, something will happen. She will do something stupid and to die, and I can't. <laughs> I Uh, I, I actually want to talk about that whole last sequence because um, one of the things I I think we've talked about a few times is that the main complaint we've had especially with the TV shows is that they don't kind of they don't go as deep into the the stuff Ah, they don't go as far as you want to with like the conflict yes to make it feel I felt like they did that with this film Mm -hmm. like every time you felt like there was like oh we've reached uh, an ending they went no there's another thing they need to like like fight um they and i liked the fact that they um i love a good sort of chekhov's gone a gun um the, um piece of, of, of writing where they they brought up the dragon at the beginning and it's like yeah you're gonna see a fucking dragon by the end of this film it's like yes, that's so happy. Exactly what i want that's i want so to see the dragon um like yeah i like the fact that like that fight has so many layers to it because it's like you have the first part where it's like he comes in um uh, it's, it's when we was not it his dad's name am i right uh yes 
Yes. I, I did this. I looked at this earlier, and I, I, I kind of look look it up because I I can't remember at this point. Wait. Um, hang on, I'm pretty sure it's Wenwu. I know that Wenwu is a character. I just can't remember if it's him. Oh, for God's sake! Google has him down as Mandarin. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Oh, it will come to me. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I just want I think to double. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, my my head is not working. Today. Yes, when we. Yes, there you go. I, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's fine. You, you were um, right. You were right. So he comes in with his like you know the ten rings and they have that battle mm. and he goes off and then you have the first half of the battle with with uh, with Shang and his father mm. where he doesn't he goes and I love I, I I love the fact that he fights so like gung-ho it's yes. all like aggression and power mm. and it, he kind of has to go between that and like learning how to do his mother's way of fire oh, so good um it was excellent excellent um because like, he, he then he loses that bit and his father goes over to the thing mm. uh the, the gate and starts breaking it down so then they have to come together to be able yeah. to fight all of the soul leaders and it's like everything keeps building and building and then he has to fight with his dad to kind of make him realize and then you have the big soul eater that mm -hmm. comes out and he realizes his mistake and sacrifices himself and then you still have more there's more like it's like yeah. the fight with the dragon happens uh and like that starts going the wrong way and you have aquafina getting her uh, like hero moment i was like take the damn shot it was that thing of like it was built up so much i was like fucking fire already <laughs> you got this shoot um yeah uh, it just it, it was like it never it, it, it never kind of pulled back it never went this is enough now it went yeah. no we're gonna keep fucking putting things in the way um yeah, it's so good mm, I, re I really liked two things at at the end like uh, i loved how he didn't let go of his sister. He was like, "No, no, not, not again, again, not again." And I was like, "Yes," uh, because I was like, I was ready that it's gonna be a sacrifice and blah blah blah. And I was like, "No, mm -mm, no, no, let's not do that." And then he was like, "Nope, I'm not gonna do that." Uh, it worked really, really well. And I, 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 uh, I loved uh, Katie's hero moment. I was like, "Ha ha, my girl." <laughs> I like yes. the implication as well with that that first um, post credit scene that she's also now a hero within yes. this uh, universe. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. I was like yes, <laughs> yes. It's like yeah, keep. I like the yeah. fact that we've got somebody who's like really starting from like not knowing anything yeah. to are yeah, you going to exactly. become clearly going to become something mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, she's already interesting, but like she something is, yeah. in a in a she's going to become sense. more. And, mm. and I was like, okay, I, I do really like this. Like, I like the direction they took with it. Uh, but, but uh, you know, I loved the, everything in the other world, basically. Uh, and, and I will say that they did an excellent job with the mythological creatures from Chinese folklore. Uh, for example, Morris is a Dijiang and and it's it's one of the cutest things and uh, i would like to say that uh jade watched uh, on twitter did an excellent job listing all the creatures that showed up uh in in shang chi and uh, you can you can read about them uh we, uh, we're gonna share it uh, on our twitter page because it is excellently all put together so you know if, if you want to know more about chinese folklore as well just get into it it's it's great it is great and, and i'm like there are so many things that they can still bring in other than you know the creatures for example or that they're chinese folklore is great <laughs> it's very magical and i am so glad that they weren't afraid to put that magic in here mm. because i was i was like are they gonna go for it because from the trailers it wasn't a hundred percent sure that they're gonna do it but they did go for it and i was like yep yeah, it's it's just great i mean i knew it from the first 10 minutes from the opening i was like yep yeah, okay <laughs> okay i love it already <laughs> so great job great job honestly i i loved everything in this film uh it, there's a, a debate going on uh, on twitter like uh, uh, people are asking if if this is the new best origin story in the mcu since iron man 
and I want to know your opinion <laughs> on it as well. Yeah, I think I think that this is at least one of the strongest that they've done in a very long time. Um, uh, it's just genuinely, um, and I think it has the the, the benefit that um, Black Fan Panther had, mm-hmm. where it has a cast and crew of people who uh, are from. And are, are telling a story it's it's the it's the representation thing that we talk about yeah, all the time yeah, it's like yeah, these people yeah. are telling a story that is important to them and actually comes from them yes like it, it is it and it's i liked that and i mentioned like i said at the beginning i like the fact that this is not a this is not marvel movie first this is a movie about family mm-hmm. and um you know uh what's the word shit um you you, you bringing a legacy i guess it is um and 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 all of that sort of like um you know figuring out your place in Mm -hmm. your and 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 holding on to the like the people of your past and 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 bringing them forward with you and i loved the line that she said um uh to him just before she went to fight all the uh, his mother Mm -hmm. before she she um she ended up uh, dying where she's like take everything that your father and I have given you and make it into something that is your own. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like how it comes out within the fighting. Yeah. It, Cause it's like, ah, oh, I love like story based fight choreography. It's so good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I remember watching the fight between him and his aunt mm-hmm. um, uh, where like he's going just so, I think mean, you can just, you don't even there was no words about it they never said anything it wasn't like she actually went not fighting too hard but Mm -hmm. it's like you can watch him he's he's just it's like you are telegraphing yourself too much you're fighting with too much aggression and just so funny i had um it's obviously the the bruce lee way of of Mm -hmm. fighting but um in my head because it's in one of the episodes of cowboy bebop because obviously Mm -hmm. there's um the episode on venus with the kid Yes. But he, he, he was like I need you to train me he's like you need to be like water when everybody else is like like um you know coming at you with like that much aggression you need to just go with the flow and mm-hmm. I was sitting there going like be like water <laughs> you need to stop being so aggressive and throwing yourself into your tags yeah 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 it's just <laughs> so greatly done everything and I I agree as well like ever since I remember this is like one of the best origin stories in the marvel universe like especially recently i'm like uh, because someone brought in black panther as well and you know that's black panther is great i love black panther but i think that's a bit just a tiny bit different because we get an introduction to black panther in civil war i think uh and <laughs> uh, you know it's it's still an origin story but it's it's kind of like we we, we already, already knew to yeah. see him so i'm like yeah it's it's definitely there yeah, but yeah. i i think it's Shang-Chi a is just it's like... a good point to kind of compare the fact that this is this really is the opening to the new story which is mm-hmm. what iron man did originally yes. so it is filling the same oh yeah yeah, yeah. hole i guess it does not really i don't know if i feel good about using the word hole there but like, <laughs> <laughs> filling the same spot yes um in that in that um sense so I am I'm just it's very good I really liked it there's my little brother went to go see it um same day I did but just like after he finished school that day and like he get <laughs> my mom was like yeah he's already gone he went <laughs> that's why he told me to go pick him up later he just went took himself <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um and he had his own he's been watching a lot of movies recently mm-hmm. like he's been going through a lot of like the classics and then like some like other um and he's like uh he had all these he's like oh, i felt like there were so many things I, I would do like slightly differently and i'm like oh anyway you're you're so new to the the world of, of watching films with a critical film studies sort of eye you'll understand this is very good yeah <laughs> sometimes you just have to let go and enjoy what is done well within a film yeah <laughs> oh god but yeah i am i am also happy to see that you know it does feel like that everyone seems to love it like mm. at least that's that's what I'm, I'm seeing that everyone is like oh this is great and and you know the rotten tomato score is, as well is like 98 percent with, with the with the, score, with the audience score with the audience score oh with the audience score yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and i was like yeah okay yeah 
everyone is feeling this and and I'm just so happy about it like honestly I enjoyed every minute of it and and I was just in it completely which didn't happen in a while like mm. I was I was having a harder time to connect to movies lately and uh, whatnot but but this time I was like I was fully like yes yes I love this I am I am very excited now like you know obviously I freaked out at the Eternal State trailer I was like <laughs> <laughs> but there's you know that i i have very personal reasons there they've my... got yeah they've got i think they've they've done the, a very smart thing especially with these first two films mm-hmm. with with shang chi and with um the eternals where they've brought in very um specific and like mm-hmm. filmmakers right yes they've got they they brought in um destin um for for this one and then they've yes. got chloe Zhao yes, for, yes, for yes. The, and it's like you these are people who are bringing a very like they, they are mm. going to make films mm. out of these these movies um and it's it yeah it's good it it's is. good it is it's good it is good uh and and you know i uh, i just can't wait for eternals now like i am i was already very excited for it throughout the whole year <laughs> so like november's going to be an intense month for stuff coming out oh, um yeah. Yeah. i realized because it's Hokai like is coming out as well in that oh month. god yeah i didn't even think about that i mean because you've got eternals hawkeye as you just mentioned um and the, but like even outside of marvel stuff there's like how many people's gonna be coming out in, in november and um personally because i play final fantasy 14 there's a new expansion for final fantasy 14 coming out in november and um there was something else that i saw recently that i was like oh shit that's also out in november and i cannot remember what it is now um but there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is Fuck. it? Hang on. November releases 2021. There's there's something else that's coming out yeah, on yeah, Netflix yeah. Um, in November. Oh, uh, um, oh, shit. It's not coming to me. Well, let's see. what. Let's have a look at the what's coming on Netflix. Oh, yes, please. Um... Oh, I mean, that wasn't what I was thinking of, but that um, uh, Western movie, The Harder They Fall, oh, is yeah. coming out oh. in November. That's, um, yeah. That wasn't what I was thinking of, but that's good. Tick, tick, boom. That was it, because oh, I looked go. this up the other day, because I saw um, I saw, uh, I saw Andrew Garfield mm-hmm. was on uh, Jonathan Ross or something recently, and I was like, hey, when's Tick, Tick, Boom coming out? That's also November, and that's I'm really right. looking forward to that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's true, that's true. Yeah, that's it's going to be exciting. And it's it's going to be full of... Uh, hopefully very great things like you know we have to wait and see i i i think i i can safely say that i do not think it's gonna happen but even if eternus turns out to be not great i don't think it's gonna happen it's probably Zhao and a fucking it, awesome the, i already <laughs> from this trailer it, it like i think you can tell from the vibe of things a lot of the times like this feels like it's been well put together yeah. right yeah and, so that's um, the hope. <laughs> that's, that's the hope. And for me, because of my beloved Angelina and Mother and Soul, I'm like, I'm already like, I don't care. <laughs> I already love it. <laughs> I'm already in love with it. I love these two so much. Then I, you know, first of all, they're going to share the screen together. So I'm already like hyping in, inside of it. <laughs> and then Angelina Jolie is coming to Marvel. And that's been my dream since Marvel started. <laughs> like... I just love her so much, so I'm like really happy that we're gonna finally get her uh, in in the Marvel stories. But also Salma Hayek as well. I love Salma so much. I think. I mean, look, it's it, the whole cast is the whole amazing. Cast is amazing. And Anjani. Like, yes. So excited to see so Anjani being be a fucking superhero. Well. But it's, yeah, but as you said, it like everyone basically in there is like, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. Just bring it on. I, I'm I'm ready. <laughs> ready let's do it uh but yeah i as i wrote it and said it here as well a thousand times i think the marvel future is still very bright and very great and we are very lucky (laughs) fans to get this many things especially this year like we had 2020 where we basically didn't have anything uh marvel related and i think they just brought their a game throughout 2021 now so i'm like I'm I'm a happy I'm a happy fan. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, yep. Thank you. I'm, I'm just I'm grateful. <laughs> More things to see, and I'm excited to see what they are. Yeah, I I, I and before we we go anywhere, I never asked you, but are you watching What If? No. 
<laughs> I haven't seen any of it. I might, I probably will once it's all out. I just, at the moment, I haven't seen any of it. I wasn't, oh I wasn't particularly interested in it. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie. I will say like, this. Uh, there's four episodes out yeah. at the moment. Except for the first one, which I felt like that it was, uh, I'm not spoiling anything for you, that it was just a montage of things, right. basically. Uh, so I didn't feel really connected to it. I was like, Meh, I guess, okay. Like, uh, it wasn't bad, but I was like, meh. Uh, mm. Especially uh, the Black Panther episode. And now the Doctor Strange one are like, just, I was, I was in, I was like, yes. <laughs> This is great. This is what I was waiting for. Excellent, excellent job. Uh, so, yeah, I I can't wait to see what else. They yeah, come up I will probably watch the whole thing once it's all out. But it's like at the moment, I'm not that fussed on it. I've been hearing like people have been saying it's good, but I'm. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is good, and I I like. I wasn't sure about the animation, but I do like it. I do like it now that it's like you know I see it continuously and not in just the trailer. I was like, it felt a bit weird uh, at first, but I'm like, yep. Yeah, I like this animation style. It's great. It's great. It's looking great. Uh, I the one thing I don't really understand that they brought back many of the actors who originally played these characters, and then they left out a few. And I'm like, why? I'm sure some people just didn't want to come back. I mean, Dave Bautista said that they didn't even ask him. For who? example, Dave Bautista, who plays Drax. Oh, Dave Bautista. Right. Bautista. Sorry. I. I. Sorry. Sorry, I always say something wrong. I'm like, oh. but, yeah, uh, that's very he, yeah, he said that they never asked him. So I'm like, but why? I don't really get it. Like, you know, that was know. already an episode with uh, um, uh, Black Widow and uh, Nick Fury and everything. And Samuel L. Jackson was back. Tommy Dawson was back. Um, uh, Clark Gregg, oh, my beloved Coulson, was back. Uh, and then Scarlett Johansson wasn't. And I was like, uh... I have a feeling that whatever rift is going on, I mean, we already know the rift that's going on between Disney and um, Scarlett yeah. Johansson. Yeah. I reckon that's probably been going on for a hot minute longer than, than just what we've seen so far. Yeah, it's possible. But I mean, they announced what if at the last San Diego Comic Con, which was mm. before the pandemic. So, I, know. I don't know. These things fester. You know, they, they yeah, yeah, especially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing with your hair? Funny that, yeah, there was a hair <laughs> that was kind of caught in the rest of my hair. Um, <laughs> it, it kind of wrapped itself around, so I was just pulling it out. Yeah. That's just, you know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's weird for me. Yeah. But I, I do, I do really appreciate it because it's, it's nice. It's nice to look at it in a different light. The stories that we already know, and I'm like great stuff so i highly recommend it to you as well and please watch doctor strange <laughs> just i'll get to it i beg you <laughs> at, get this to it point. at some point uh but yeah all right i think we talked about everything yeah the i think it's good and everything so we could um, love it. <laughs> i know we've put like absolutely no pictures of simu uh, around anywhere but it's like come on <laughs> She's so cool. <laughs> she is cool, and I, I think, I think we, we, we praised the others as well. So I'm like, we good, we good. We don't have a picture, but I will, I will just, you know, use a picture. Just put a just, little picture or something. Yeah, similar. just we love you. <laughs> I, I personally do love you a lot. <laughs> uh, you're not my new Chris Evans, but you know. <laughs> just, just stop talking. I will. I will shut up now. Uh, anyway, yeah. thank you again, guys. Next time is going to be exciting. We finally came up with the idea of what to do for mm. our one year anniversary. And yes. now it's uh, under organizing. It's, yeah. We're still working on it, but hopefully it will happen sooner than later. Yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, until we see you next, take care and, you know, be good. Stay safe. Get vaccinated. All that jazz. Yes. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.